Hi everybody, Jo here. It's Tuesday, so it's time for our crafty catch up. Now, those of you that watched yesterday, I know we've had a bit of a change of plan this week, so we've rescheduled things a bit. Um, so sorry if it confused you. You know what I'm like, it confuses me. At the minute, I don't even know what day it is. So, um, so I do apologise, but it's really because we're so excited about our new um, improved uh, Lavinia Pure Alcohol Inks. So, like I was explaining yesterday, we've had alcohol inks for a, a while at Lavinia, but um, we listened to customer feedback and Tracy's got a new improved um, alcohol ink and the nozzles just that bit um well it's more of improved i've been using the two together because obviously i've got some of my stock already so i've been adding to it with these new ones they work beautifully together but i just wanted to have another play to show you a little bit more inspiration well to be fair i just wanted to have another play you know what us crafters are like we get something new or something to add to our stash and we have to use it don't we couple of little bits of housekeeping first and um, if you're looking for the Monday mindfulness with the spotlight with the florals that will be on next Monday so don't worry it's there in the bag ready you just have to wait another week and um, next thing I'm using alcohol inks so Eric's not in my craft room with me you have to be very careful with pets around alcohol inks and also I've got my window open now at the time of recording this it's absolutely throwing it down outside so if you can hear any background noise that's the rain but it can't be helped I need the well ventilated room so it is what it is I'm afraid but you know what when you're a crafter and you want to use a product you don't let the rain put you off do you now this is what I want to share with you today and it's just my take on another way of using alcohol inks um alcohol inks well not the easiest thing to stamp on top of so me being me I have to come up with a way of actually doing it so i've come up with this well i think i was going to say a lovely method but i th i think it's quite good and what we're going to do is we're going to use some acetate look to add the alcohol ink to and we're going to stamp underneath it so what we're going to do is start off with our stamping and what i've done is i've cut myself a seven by seven piece of the multifarious cardstock and because again I'm stamping on this so I can use my multifarious and I've got myself a piece of acetate and I'm going to have that seven by seven just the same. So I'll put my acetate up there where I can remember where it is. Oh look, dirty mark, we better stamp on this side. And we're going to start with our stamping and I've gone for mainly silhouettes for this because I really want them to show up. So I'm using our, uh, now is she the Woodland Sprite? I think she may be. And I'm just going to use permanent ink, my Versafine Claire, in the black. I'm going to do all my stamping in black. I really want it to show through. Now she's a good size, this one. And I want her in the middle. You know me, I tend not to put things in the middle, but for this one, I want her to take centre stage. And again, she's a silhouette. So I'm just going to give that ink time to soak in to the card. So I hope you're having a good week. I hope things are going well. Tuesday, it's always sort of the beginning of the week, isn't it? We're moving in towards the middle. Right, now again, it's her body where I just need, so I'm just going to press on and lift up, and there we go. She's beautiful, isn't she? Now, to go around her, I've got the English Bluebell. And I'm just going to stamp a couple of these. I, I don't want sort of to overcook it with the Bluebell, but the fact that she's sat on a Bluebell, we'll add a couple I'm just going to put one over here. Now there are lots of our fabulous silhouette stamps that I think this design would work beautifully with. I'm just going to add two of the bluebell and then I'm going to come in with the seed heads. On the seed heads 
we've got a solid, a silhouette, and one that we that's um you can colour in. I love these. Um, so I'm thinking I'll use the the solid one, and I'm just going to angle it slightly. Again, remember you can manipulate your stamps a little. But I'm thinking this, just angled there. And then if I just re-angle the other way, just slightly. And we'll have that one maybe there. And then one more, just so we've got three of these. And again, I'm trying to go with that that wild sort of meadowy theme like we do. So I'm altering this, the shape and the size and I'm gonna come in with the field grass just at the front for a little bit of extra sort of depth and we'll just alternate some and we'll have first and second generation. I have got a bit of third and fourth there, look. Just because I want this to be poking through, I don't really want this to sort of be taking centre stage, but I just want it to be there. What you can do with this one is just ink the top. I'm just going to take that off, but it's the top I really want. So just thinking of having a little bit there, look, and a little bit there, just so it looks like it's in the background a bit of depth. And I think that is lovely now i'm just going to blot it because i do need it to be dry i'm going to put my ink away give myself a bit of space now i've actually got a non-stick craft mat on top of my lavinia mat and that's purely because i'm working with my alcohol inks and i don't want any alcohol ink to go on my lovely lavinia mat so today I've chosen three colours. So we've got the Azure Blue, Jade Stone and Harvest Yellow. Now these need just a little shake. Do make sure your lids are on, ladies and gents. We don't want any of that tomato ketchup scene where you shake it and the lid's not on and it ends up everywhere. And I've got my blending solution as well, my pure blending solution. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my acetate into play now and pop it over the top of my design. And I'm going to start playing. So I'm just giving them all a bit of a zhuzh. And I'm starting with my blue and I'm just going to leave the lids off while I create. And then as soon as I've finished, I'll pop them back on. Now we've got new improved nozzles here. So I know I can have, I want blue down and because I've got my acetate on top I can see where and I just want some blue around her and I'm going to come in with my jade now and I want my jade all along the bottom and it's lovely just watch how it reacts and up there and round there and then my yellow I'm sort of just going to add a little bit of yellow and I'll come back. I can always add more. Just a couple of places here. If you want to make it more look like the sun, you can add the yellow specifically there. Now, I start off with about this amount of alcohol ink because then I'm going to bring my blending solution in and I just want to move it a little. And so I'm just, and as I say, because we've got this tiny nozzle, and I'm literally only just slightly, and look, I love this. And I just want to manipulate it a little. And as this happens, I can then decide if I want more colours. And I will just gradually, I'm hardly touching the acetate, just to get, as I say, these are so fine now. We can just, and we can even add some where we've added the blending solution, look, and watch it work. We'll add a bit there and then let's mix the colours and just have fun with the way it's going. Now I'm purposely not going round my main feature because I want her to show but look what I can do. If I add some blending solution here 
in here. Let's put a little bit more yellow here. And it's funny how you become a dab hand using your left and your right hands together. Now this blue's gone on her and I don't really want it. So I'm going to come in and almost push it back. So just put some blending solution here and then just push that blue back. So I've got a nice area around my woodland sprite. And I love the way that moves, look. Now, you can have your felt and you can dab it. I just like to let it actually move and that's the bit I love. I love that movement. If you decide you want a little bit more colour, so here I can just add a tiny bit of blue. Bring the blue back. But I don't want it to go near her, so back with the blending solution, forcing it that way. And you can just build up hoping you can see that. In fact, you've probably got a better look at a distance than me. Now, obviously my blue and yellow has gone quite green, which is fine because I like the green, but I'm not keen on this solid edge here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow and just break it up a little. And that's the thing with this, you literally just add the colours and the beauty of this is, you know, no two will ever be the same. Just want a bit more blue in there, don't we? Right, that just needs to force this way a little. So a bit more jade and a little bit blending solution, I think will give me a bit more. I want that going that way. Yeah, and that gives me that more interest in that. And here, this is a bit straight. I'm not keen on the, the straight edge. So the way I get rid of that is I'm going to add a little bit of jade there. See how it works on its own. Little top blending solution in the middle, just so it'll disperse. And again, my blue here is just a little bit. Just want to add a little bit of blending solution to break it up a little. And as I say, I just love this. A little bit more yellow here. And you can just play and add, but don't overdo it. There are times when you, you really do just have to think, right, stop. But honestly, it's such fun, you'll be like me tiny bit there and as I say I'm hardly touching just to get that fine detail that just that little extra just watch a little bit of yellow down here and then I think I might stand back and just look at that and see how how we're doing she says and then she adds a bit more yellow just think that yellow needs to break up and move that way a bit. But yes, I'm going to stand up and have a look at that. I love that because I love this. I just want to fuzzy this edge here a little just to try and... So she's almost looking up as though that is the sun peeping through. Right, I like that. So going to pop my lids on, make sure I get the right lid on the right one because I'm a bit fanatical like that. And again, as soon as I can put the lids on, the better. Thinking of those fumes. And again, if you're somebody who has asthma or and you want to wear a mask, obviously you wear a mask. Now what I am going to do is just slide that to the side a minute let it dry and I'm just going to add a little bit of gel pen on here and I'm just thinking I think I'll go for my blue and sorry it just may bring my head in a little but I'm just thinking of just adding a little bit of blue highlights I think it'll just poke through
I'll add a little bit on here. Just, it might not. It's a spur of the moment thing. <laughs> I would say I could edit it out, but you know I'm not that good. But I just think the bit of the blue just helps to add a little bit of something there. And when I slide this back, look, there. How lovely is that? And so quick and easy. And if I just, can I do that thing of zooming in? Let's try. Zoom in a bit. And you can look, you can just see those highlights poking through. Now, to finish off the actual creation look, all I did, and look, as I say, the two are different. All I did was added some brads in my corners here to fix these and then put onto black card just to make it pop and I added myself one of our lovely sentiments our fabulous sentiment stickers look and I save everything I don't know about you so every little bit of black card I have I save and I just popped my sentiment sticker on a piece of black card and I think that really finished it off now, I think there are so many different designs that you could do with this technique. And it's just something a bit different. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoy using our new alcohol inks. As I say, mix and match with your old ones. I just think it's an excuse to buy some new colours for me. But there again, I don't need much of an excuse, do I? So you take care, everybody. I hope you have a good week. Thank you as always for all your lovely comments and feedback. Honestly, I really, really do appreciate them. Love and hugs from me. I've got to go and see Eric now because obviously I've locked him out of my craft room and he'll be sat outside sulking. Bless him. You take care, everybody. Bye for now. <laughs>